What's up besties? You already know when I come like this, it's time for a tutorial, okay? Today we are going to be reviewing the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Blooming Romance Palette. And when I tell you I am so excited to try this palette out, like look at how beautiful this looks. Like, I'm so excited. Let's do like a little ASMR moment for the besties, okay? Let's do a little ASMR moment. My favorite part, and it's kind of hard because I got these like nails, but let me see if I can get it. Oh, oh my God, come on. That is so satisfying. Like one thing about me, I love to peel stuff. I love to peel like plastic stuff off and I'm really trying to not mess this up with my nails let me see if i can get the other asmr moment okay without messing up the palette y'all okay it wasn't as like aesthetic as i wanted it to be but you guys get you guys get it okay you guys get it should i start asmr should I? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm so excited to try out the Danessa Myricks Crown Work Blooming Romance Palette because one thing about me, your girl loves romance. I am a huge hopeless romantic woman. So anything with romance, even if it's a palette, like I, I just love it. Now today we're going to see honestly if this palette is truly worth the money because this was not cheap. This palette right here was not cheap baby, okay? So this Blooming Romance palette retails for $65. They also have, I'm trying to get it to not get to, like to darken, but they, um, she also has a Neutrals palette that is also $65. One thing about me, I love a palette that has warm tones and like this is just speaking all types of volumes and like it's just calling my name. Sorry if you guys can see the reflection of my background, but yeah, I'm just trying to show you guys. But look at how beautiful this is. Like, these colors are truly just so pretty. Oh my gosh, they are so gorgeous. I feel like this palette is definitely more of a summer, spring type of vibe. But I can't even really say summer, spring because one thing about me, I will wear an eyeshadow regardless of what type of season it is. But when I look at this, it gives me spring, summer vibes. The neutrals palette is more of an everyday type of vibe. I know that they say that you can use this palette for your face, your brows, your um, cheeks, your lips. This is an all over type of palette, which I really love and which is like, hmm, if you can use this for all over your face, maybe it is worth $65. But the true tea is, is this palette beginner friendly? Is this palette more for the girlies who have been in the makeup game for a while? Who is this palette for? Because I've heard like, not mixed reviews, but I heard that you had a really like, People who have tried this palette say that they had to really figure out how it works best for them and different techniques that works good for them. So I know that this side I think is more of a creamy consistency and the other side is more of the powder consistency. So the way Patrick Ta's palettes are, it's a true cream consistency shadow on the very end and it actually has like this little flappy part that like um i guess protects the cream and makes it last longer and stuff like that but this is not like a creamy like just putting my finger on it it's not a creamy consistency it's more of a like matter i don't know how to explain it i'm so excited to play with this palette i really want to see is it really truly worth 65 dollars because baby 65 dollars is not cheap especially for a palette you know what i could buy with 65 dollars at sephora even though Sephora is expensive, do you know what I could buy with $65? One thing, this right here is $65. We're going to see if this is truly worth the money, okay? Yeah, the only thing that I will say that I'm not sure how I feel is that the matte shadows are so small. Like, they are so small compared to, like, the bigger, creamier shadow. And that's the only thing that's like, uh. So I think I'm going to have to actually take the smaller um oh my gosh i just like why i just put a hole in it with my nail i'm gonna actually have to take it out to actually play with it y'all this is the only thing about having like long nails is that it just be messing stuff up 
okay y'all I just put like a little dent in it but you can't really see it but nonetheless let's just stop rambling and let's actually play with this bad boy and see what type of makeup look we can come up with okay so I'm looking at this and I'm like hmm what shadow speaks to me and honestly I want to go with like more of a mauve rosy romantic sexy type of look today okay um okay I'm gonna dip my fluffy brush that's like this size I'm gonna dip it in this and we're just gonna see what we can come with because I ooh, okay so I am kind of dipping it in a little bit hard to get color but not too bad okay okay so this shade is adorn and baby when I say adorn is a beautiful this is such a beautiful color oh my gosh and this honestly is not hard to work with at all um honestly i'm not having any problem with this um more creamier shade that i'm dipping my brush in it seems like it's blending seamlessly and it's easy to apply okay so i have y'all zoomed in just a little bit more because I want you guys to be able to get the one twos and the T with this eyeshadow and see how it's really performing. Okay, so next I kind of want to go in. Ooh. That is so pretty. I just want to play with all the shadows on here. Honestly. Ooh. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I took the small shadow from lovesick and i'm actually gonna have it like this so then i can you know not get my fluffy brush in the creamier shadow so i actually want to start smoking this out and i'm just going to use the matte shades i think for the rest of this smoked out look for now okay so i'm going to take this shadow and i'm going to take my brush and i'm just going to oh that looks like it was a kind of a lot and I'm just gonna start smoking it out. Okay. Oh yes, baby. We're gonna start deepening this crease up a little bit. I was thinking that I wanna do a cut crease, but I don't think I'm gonna do a cut crease in this look today. I think I'm just gonna kind of keep it um, not complicated. Not that a cut crease is complicated, but cut creases be taking them sometimes, sometimes. Okay. Okay. Yes, I love how that looks. Y'all, I'm trying to... Oh my gosh. I'm trying to be so careful because these nails... These nails are truly just like annoying when it comes to certain things. Like I just put so many dents in this... Like, I just put so many dents in this eyeshadow palette because of my nails. Like, I'm so over it. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with Bliss. So, Bliss. I'm trying to get in the frame. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with Bliss. And I'm also going to take this smaller um, matte shade out. And I'm going to use this to start smoking the crease out even more. Okay, so I'm just going to take this brush. And I'm just gonna start smoking. Yeah, baby. Yours. That is like so pretty. I wanna deepen the um the crease though. I think I'm gonna go in with EXO next because I really wanna deepen this crease and like smoke it out a little bit more than this. Mm -hmm. that's actually like really pretty honestly do I want to keep it like this or do I want to smoke it out even more hmm. 
F it. Let's just smoke this bad boy out even more because I'm trying to play with as many colors as I can. Now, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush so I won't need to actually take the individual shade out. I'm going to go in with the shade XO. Is this a... Yep, I'm going to go in with XO. And... Actually, wait. Hmm... I kind of want to keep this makeup look smoky, so I think I'm going to stick with, like, the bottom shades. And, yeah, maybe I'll do, like, two separate videos of this palette, and I'll play with, like, the upper shades and do more of a, you know, hmm, softer type of vibe. But I kind of want to do, like, a smoky eye with this. So what I think I'm about to do is I'm going to take the shade... I don't know. I think I'm going to take the shade Adorn again and I'm going to go in with like the more creamier side and I'm just going to put that all over my lid. Oh, that was like a little bit too harsh that I just dipped that in. But yeah, I'm going to go in with the matter shade and I'm just going to put that all over my lid just like so. Honestly, when it comes to makeup, I just be freestyling it. Like, I'm truly just freestyling this look and I'm trying to see what I can come up with. But that's the art of makeup. That's what I love about it is that makeup is just art and you can come up with any type of makeup look you want. Um, makeup is truly like therapy to me and I honestly just love playing with it. Because there's just no rules. You can come up with any type of look that you want. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes, baby. Okay, so next, I feel like my eyes is like watering right here, and that is so annoying. Okay, so next, I really want to smoke this look out. I want to go in with the shade XO. I'm going to go in with the matte smaller shade. And I'm just going to start smoking this out on the corner. One thing about me, I love me a good smoky eye. So I'm just going to smoke this out and drag it. Yes. All of these shades are so easy to work with, like, truly so easy to work with. Oh my gosh. I truly love how this is coming out. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's see, what are we going to do for the inner corner? Because one thing about me, I got to have an inner corner shade. So, let's see. What are we going to do for the inner corner, baby? I'm low-key thinking about doing Crush for the inner corner or maybe Desire for the inner corner. I think I'm going to go in with Smitten, this shade for my inner corner. And if I want to brighten it, I'll go in with the shade um crush but we're gonna see let's see yo i can like truly feel that my eye is watering and it's like so annoying i kind of think that i want to brighten this inner corner up a little bit more so i may go in with the shade crush on top just to have a brighter inner corner hmm Okay, I'm just going to go on top of it with, I don't know, I truly can't tell. Should I keep it like this or should I go on top of it with Smitten, I mean with Crush? I'm going to go on top of it with Crush, I mean why not? So I'm going to brighten it up a little bit with the matte shade of crush and we're going to yes baby just like that okay yes 
Yeah, now that is pretty. That is so pretty. Like, y'all. Okay, so I'm about to do liner and lashes and I'm gonna beat the rest of my face and then we're gonna talk about this palette because baby do y'all see this smoky vibe that I just came up with like this is so pretty all the shadows even the matte shade and the um creamy shades are very easy to work with to be honest I would say I'm gonna give like the rest of my opinion but just off of like my first impressions I would definitely say that even if you're a beginner you could still buy this palette and you could still work with it. It's so easy to work with. Honestly, even if you're a beginner, I think that it's really easy to work with. Um, the best part about being a beginner with makeup is that you want to challenge yourself. You want to go out of your comfort zone and try things new and try, you know, new shadows, new techniques and just try something new. So if you've just started out with makeup or you have been in the game with makeup for a while and you are thinking about using this palette, Baby, look at the smoky eye that I just did, okay? The, the the makeup look is not even done yet. And I'm just like, I'm feeling like blooming romance right now. Like, I'm feeling romantic right now. Like, I'm just, I love how this came out with. I said how this came out with. I love how this came out. Honestly, I'm debating if I'm going to put rhinestones or if I'm just going to leave it as it is. I kind of feel like I'm going to leave it as it is, low key. But rhinestones would really like set this look off, don't you think? I don't know we're gonna see but um 10 out of 10 65 dollars would recommend i mean truly like makeup is an investment and i feel like this palette is truly like an investment and it's focus on me i feel like this palette is definitely worth it but i'm going to get into the one twos once i finish my makeup and i come back so first impressions i absolutely love it i'm about to come back and you'll see how the final look looks <laughs> All right, so babes, let's get into the detail. Like, okay, I was not thinking about doing any rhinestones, but you know me. I told you the rhinestones just take it from zero to a hundred real quick, okay? So I just did my face makeup and now I'm just gonna do my lower, the bottom of my, the lower part of my eye. And then I'm just gonna do liner and mascara and then we're gonna be done. It's gonna be done. I'm gonna set my face and yeah. So I think I'm just gonna keep it super simple on the bottom. So I'm gonna go in with a lovesick right here. And I'm just gonna run that on the bottom of my eye like so. And I'm truly debating if I'm going to just leave it like this or smoke it out more. Hmm. Hmm. Should I leave it like this? Okay, I'm going to leave it like this and I'm not going to do too much like smoky neats. So I'm just going to go in with liner, mascara, and then we're going to be done, baby. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'm going to come back and then we are going to do our final thoughts, okay, of the Danessa Myricks Blooming Romance Palette, okay? <laughs> All right, besties. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy, you know, watching me create this makeup look. This is what I mean by there's no rules to makeup. Makeup is art. Makeup is creativity. Makeup is how you want to do it. Because, baby, look. Do you just, do you peep the rhinestone detail? Okay, let me not. Okay. So, this baby right here. Okay. This baby right here. The big question is, is this worth $65? Like I said, $65 is a lot for a palette, but if you want to try this palette out, I highly recommend. I would say even if you're a beginner and you're very interested and you're curious to how you would do with this palette, 
go for it. You can do anything you want to do. If you're not really into makeup and you're like, hmm, should I buy this? Make it as an investment. If you really want to try this palette out, I definitely say try it out. The best part about Sephora is that you, if you don't like how a product works, you can always return it because $65 is a lot of money. And if you truly don't like how the formula is, or you think that it doesn't work best for you, just return it. Um, I honestly would recommend this palette. I can definitely see myself playing with this palette a lot, like seriously a lot. I would say that I know that um, playing with this palette, I really only stuck to the bottom shades and really just these top two shades just for the inner corner. If you want to, oh my gosh, did I just put another dent in here? No, I thought I did. But if you want to see me play with the top shade and come up with a more like um, floral, summer, like softer vibe type of look, please let me know. Let me know down below in the comments because I truly would love to do another tutorial with this palette. Baby, I love this palette, okay? I just... The creamy matte shade is not hard to work with. It's not hard to blend or anything. Honestly, the only thing that I would say that I don't necessarily love about the palette, um, it's not like a deal breaker at all, it's just that the matte shade... The completely matte shades they're so small compared to the creamier matte shades so this small it's just so small I would say that if you're using a fluffy brush for the smaller matte shades just pop it out of the palette and just like individually put your brush in it like that just so your brush is not dipping into the creamier matte shade as well as the completely matte shade um, don't be scared to try out new makeup. Don't be scared to just go out of your comfort zone. Um, I was honestly kind of intrigued and nervous at the same time to try this out because I'm like, hmm, is this a creamy formula like the Patrick Ta palette or is this more of a creamy matte formula? I don't know. So I was curious and that's why I'm, that's what made me want to try it out because I love a good challenge and I feel like if it doesn't work out for me the first time that I try it out, I'm going to figure out a way for it to work for me. Um, yeah, Danessa, she did her thing with this. Like she did her big one with this palette. I absolutely love it and I would truly recommend, okay? If you guys want to see more makeup, you know, tutorials or just makeup looks with this palette, please let me know. Um, is this Kel approved? I would definitely say yes. I would definitely recommend this. Um, if you're thinking about buying this, the Sephora sale is coming up, I think, next week is when it starts. So April 5th is when it starts for the Rouge members and then VIP and then Insiders. So if you're thinking about buying this palette, Bessie, I would definitely say wait until the Sephora sale so you can get money off because... We all love a good discount. We love to save coins. And the best part is that, you know, instead of paying $65, you get 20% off, 10% off, or even 15% off. But it was really important for me to try this out before the sale because I'm like, this is actually really expensive and I want to save the bestie some coins. So instead of paying full price, you can get this at a discounted price. Uh, price. You can get this at a discounted price. But um, yeah, bestie. I like this palette, I truly do. So Bestie, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed my first impressions of the Danessa Myricks Blooming Romance palette, please give this video a like, thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos using this palette, please let me know. Um, if there are any palettes that you guys want me to try out, please let me know because I would be more than happy to, not just palettes, but products. Anything you want me to try out and do a first impressions on, please let your girl know because I love doing videos like this, okay? Um, yeah, I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.